Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today I want to talk about automation and all the sort of crazy ways you can use automation um, from stretching to warping to the um, different features that you can do inside this window here. So um, what I'm going to do as an example is just about anything could be automated, but we're going to just automate this auto filter as an example. Um, so what you do is, is you turn on your automation and we're going to select the auto filter. And right now we're just going to be working with the frequency here. So there's my um, automation line here for my auto filter on the frequency knob. So let's play it and we can just kind of... Um, listen to it for a bit as I'm moving it around. So if you click on the actual clip, then you'll notice that this line can turn blue if you just kind of move away from it a bit. And in that way you can kind of hear the automation to move it around. Alright, so what I'll do is, is if you do hold down Option and you click on it, you can actually insert one of these shapes, which is kind of cool. So we'll just do a sine wave sort of a shape there. And obviously that's going to be too extreme, but let me show you how we can work with this. So this would be too extreme here. Now if you notice, when you click on the clip, there'll be these little squares you can kind of see. There's one there, there's one there, there's one up here in the corner down here in the other corner. Now watch what happens when I pull these up. See there, now the whole wave is way higher there so it's not nearly as extreme. Uh, let's play that a bit. And when I get it to blue again, I can move the whole thing up or down with that wave, which is kind of cool. And of course I can always just click off it and then hold down option and then I can make a, another curve if I want my own sort of curves and again no matter what I've done if I click on the whole clip I can click away from it a bit and then move the whole thing up and down and see how that sounds while it's playing so I think you can see here sort of the potential um, using automation for stretching. Now, let's say you wanted this to sort of ramp up. So that's what these um, ones in the corner are here. So if I pull this one down, look, the whole beginning um, sort of ramps up all the way to the end of that clip um, on whatever automation you had. So let's uh, play with that a bit. Let's see, So I can set that wherever I want. Again, I could bring that down or all the way up. This one over here does the opposite, so you can make the whole thing sort of fade downwards um, on your automation. So um, there's so many different things you can kind of do with this, which is great because um, sometimes you'll make a whole bunch of breakpoints and you'll find out that, you know, gosh, I wish the whole thing was a little bit louder or a little higher, and you can just pull this up or this will kind of squish it, but if you click away from it a bit there, you can get that blue and then the whole thing will just remain the same and go up and down without squishing it when you use these. These just uh, make it less extreme, whereas when you have the blue line, you can move the whole thing up and down. So these automation lanes can do quite a bit. bit here. Maybe pull that down again. And if you click away from your um, clip, then you can click on the actual breakpoints again and make new ones or modify the ones that are already there um, 
and then you can make those go up and down or do whatever you want. So yeah, so basically holding down option will give you the option of making a curve. Um, and if you hold down option, you can um, choose one of these um, you know shapes that already has for you there so like I can change the whole thing to you know a triangle sort of shape there and I can pull that up so it just kind of goes up and down and so far we've just been doing this on the auto filter here but uh, anything that uh, can be automated um, you know, can use these uh, features. And so that's sort of what I wanted to talk about today, um, how to use automation and stretch it and move it and choose shapes and whatever you want to do. It's pretty cool. So um, hopefully this tip uh, gives you some ideas on how you might want to automate some stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.